Why are these people dancing? It's two days before Christmas, but that's not the reason. They are celebrating the building of a new house. Just how that house was built and why that's important is the reason why I'm here. That's me, by the way, a kid from Brooklyn, a third of the world away from home. Yes, Christmas in Uganda is a lot warmer than Christmas in Bay Ridge, but no matter where I go, it's clear. You can take the boy out of Brooklyn, but you can't take the Brooklyn out of the boy. I'm Chris Bascianelli, and I'm from Brooklyn, New York. I've been sent on a mission by Ben & Jerry's Ice Cream to explore the benefits of fair trade vanilla. Farmers are getting a fair price for their products. It's Uganda, my friends, the Pearl of Africa. And you're coming along for the ride. This is a story about vanilla farmers. And not just any vanilla farmers but the men and women of Western Uganda who grow, process, and sell vanilla so that Ben & Jerry's ice cream I enjoy so much tastes as rich and as sweet as it does. Fair trade is a way of doing business that accounts for all costs of production and includes a fair price for farmers. In fact, it guarantees a fair price. The farmers then have the freedom to do whatever they wish with that money. I'm here to learn about some of their stories. Hi, Chris. How are you? Nice to meet you. Ava. Ava and her family are members of the Mubuku Vanilla Farmers Association. The children, they are all in school. Is that a big deal around here, Mama, to, to be able to, to send your kids to school? So much. <laughs> Is that a good thing, Kotsibo? Yes, Kotsibo is so much. Oh, so much. It's a big deal because they fair to the market. All the children are in good schools looking forward to university level. Ava's daughter, Kristen, is in charge of pollinating the vanilla flowers. Okay. Seems simple enough. Okay. What are we going to do with this thing? She's going to open the flower. First, let the pro show me how it's done. It has a membrane between the male and the female. Okay. And the membrane has to be lifted up mm -hmm. ah. to maternity. Yes. Why are you squeezing it? That the male is properly joined to the female. Does this really make a difference doing all this? Yes, it helps the bean to grow up to maturity. Oh, then, what happens if I don't feel like pollinating it? Of course it will fall off until we give you no bean. Okay, vanilla in the wild, of course, is pollinated by bees, naturally. But here's the weird part. Vanilla flowers are too small for normal honeybees to fit into them. So there's actually a very small bee that lives in the ground that fits into the vanilla flowers and pollinates them the way nature intended. Now, if Ava and her family left it to nature, there wouldn't be nearly enough vanilla to sell because there simply aren't enough of these tiny bees to do all the work. Are you telling me the only way for a vanilla bean to grow is for us to go and individually pollinate each flower? Yes. Do you understand the implications of what you're saying? Very much Do you so. realize how time consuming this it is? It is really time consuming because every bean must be pollinated by person. I, I just here? stick it in the side like this? Yeah. I'm from Brooklyn. I never turn down a challenge. Yeah. You've mm. broken it. <laughs> Do we have another flower? Yes. Show me the lucky lady. <gasps> I can't, I can't, I can't. I don't have the patience for this. I can't do this. After being personally responsible for the death of five or six vanilla beans. Is it pollinated or is it dead? Yeah, you did it. I did it? Yeah, yes. it is pollinated. Thank you. You're welcome. Now, if you had me working on this farm, you guys would not make any money. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. Yes. This video has been brought to you by Ben & Jerry's and produced by Bridge the Gap TV.